everyone how are you guys doing I'm trying to figure out how to get this light like to balance out and I'm sorry it's so bright up here but I'm in my kitchen right now and I'm getting ready to clean my makeup brushes and I'm trying out this new thing that I just got in the mail yesterday so um, if you I'm sure you guys have seen this thing like all over the internet uh, for the makeup brush cleaner uh, the thing that like spins around and cleans out everything and so yeah I wanted to come on here and give like a quick review of it because I haven't tried it yet so I kind of wanted to do like a live um first reaction to it because I thought it would be funny to watch me try and use this uh thing that I never have before I'm not very good at trying these things out so let me get these invites sent out and then I will get started and you guys can Watch me embarrass myself trying to use this thing. <laughs> How is everyone doing today? If you guys want to say hi when you sign on, that would be awesome. So I know who's watching. Okay. Okay. So what I'm going to be doing uh, <laughs> is trying out this. Um, I know that a lot of the ladies have probably seen this going on and what it is, that's the charger for it, uh, what it is is a high speed makeup cleaner or a brush cleaner and yeah it comes in this awesome box right here and so this is what it looks like, that gives you an idea. That's what it looks like on the thing, and that's how it works to clean your makeup brushes. Um, it comes with this fun little package thing right here, and then it kind of gives you instructions as far as what you're supposed to do. Um, wish me luck, because I'm not that good at these things. <laughs> so it comes with um, this thing right here, which is like the brush cleaner solution. And I'm not sure if you can use anything else. I'm sure you can. Like, I'm sure you don't have to go back through the company to buy this stuff. But, so it comes with that. And then this was really cool when I saw it. It was like a stand-up uh, charging station for it. So, it has like the charger thing right here. And these are the things, I believe, that you attach to like the handle of your brush. And then you spin it around in the solution. So, it comes with that. And this is the handle thing to it. Fun, fun. Looks like, I oh, that looks dangerous. And then, let's see. I'm going to try not to break anything. And then I thought this was really cute. This is a little fish bowl that it comes with. Isn't that fun? So, okay. So what it says, and I'm going to, it is wind down Wednesday over here, so. It says to pour some water into the bowl, put in a small amount of soap. Um, okay, here it says, it is preferable to use natural soap, antibacterial soap, and baby shampoo or conditioner, and but do not use dishwashing liquid on your makeup brushes. Okay. Apparently this thing is supposed to wash and dry, so we'll see. Um, find the rubber collar that best fits your brush. So that shows you right there how it's supposed to work. And then you're supposed to, all right, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I'm a little nervous. Uh, this was actually a gift from my sister-in-law. So I believe you're not supposed to put in too much water. You're not supposed to fill it up to the top. So... I think that should be good. We'll put in a little bit. And then... This would give me problems. Come on! So, the funny story is, is that my sister-in-law, she watched my video of me talking about how I needed to clean my brushes more and if I had this contraption that I would be more likely to do it all the time. So let's see if she's right. So okay so this says that it removes makeup powder, grease, dead skin cells, odors, and bacteria. Okay I could have done without reading that but however much four milliliters is 
Dang it. I'm way out of my league here. Okay, so I brought... <laughs> these are all my brushes, and then I have these two. Do I use all of them? No, but I don't think you have to. Just in case, they need to be there. So, these are not unique brushes, by the way. Not all of them are. But you're supposed to find the one that is tight to it. So that's going to be this one for this. So you fit it on like that, I'm assuming. And then, okay, so you're supposed to dunk the brush up and down in the liquid, press this brush slightly into the bowl to loosen the bristles. Okay, and if there is any like metal like around this, like this right here, that's not supposed to go in the water. Okay, so after 10 seconds while still pressing it up and down, press the button once for the lowest setting, increase it to, ooh, there's three levels. Well, that's fun. Okay. And then this, see it has this on here and that right there. I'm kind of nervous, you guys, I'm not gonna lie. Wait, is this supposed to like lock in? I don't feel like that's going to stay on. Okay, I feel like I'm missing something. I'm sorry guys, I'm really not a pro by any means at this. This is not my product and I've never touched it before. So. And then insert the collar onto the Luxe brush spinner. I feel like this should be like snapping into here, but it's not. Like, it's kind of loose. Hmm. So that's the brush before, and we'll see if this works. So I'm kind of holding on to this because I don't trust this to come spinning off. So I'm gonna touch it to the bottom. And already you can see all that coming off. And then you're supposed to spin it. Ooh, look at all that. Well, that's impressive. Okay, so right off the bat, I want to say this is not flush, like, to the thing. Like, it's not tight as I think that it should be. Put the collar on it first, then try putting the brush on the... Ooh. See, this is why I did this live, because I need y'all's help. <laughs> okay. Great, this doesn't want to come off. Okay, so you're saying to put this on first. Oh, I think that was it. Thanks, Whitney. You're my girl, Blue. <laughs> okay, let's see if that helps. But as you can see, like it did take off a lot of the blush already. So it does have three settings, and then you're supposed to take it out, and it's supposed to spin, but it's not. Oh, there it goes. So it's supposed to be drying it off, but it's not like, I don't know. It still keeps swinging it around. Well, that's a bummer. That's definitely not working the way I thought it would. Hmm. Maybe we'll try a different one. Maybe that will work better. I feel like this should be like snapping in somewhere, to be honest. It's so weird. Maybe if I put it on a low setting and just kind of let it spin a little bit, that'll dry it off. I think maybe I just had it on too high. Isn't that cool? Look at that. Ah. Okay. So that is after one round. That's really cool. Ooh, and it's actually like pretty dry already too. Like I'm going to have to leave this to sit out for a little bit, but that's really awesome. I want to do it again, but look at all that in there. That's kind of gross. Don't think bad of me, guys. I didn't mean it, I swear. So I'll go ahead and just get fresh water, and then I'll give it another go. <laughs> well, that's good. You're like, Mia, 
do it right. <laughs> it's like, no, you need to do it this way. <laughs> okay, so I think, all right, and I, I'm going to add a little bit more of this, whatever four milliliters is. Okay, we're going to need another sip for this one. So I'm getting kind of nervous. It's getting deep. Okay. And then we'll do it again. Okay. And then we'll spin it. And you're supposed to do this for 10 seconds and then take it out of the water. Ah, you need to calm down, brush. Know your place. Spin. Okay, you're supposed to do it like this and let it dry. You're not supposed to do it for any longer. I'm probably actually doing this for too long because it's gonna mess up your brush. So, that is after two. And I have to say, I mean, I, it is kind of weird that this like swivels as much and it does kind of come down a little bit, but to be honest, like, that cleans like really well. And so smells nice. I can't complain. So one thing I was kind of curious about is if it was going to work on this brush because it's small and this is my foundation one and probably the one that I need the most. So I'll try it on this one and shout out to Whitney. We'll do it this one first. See, I feel like these even look different. I don't know. This one looks looser for some reason. So we'll do that first. We'll hook the brush in. And then we'll see if it actually spins it because it's kind of short, so I don't know, it may or may not work. Okay, so this one is definitely holding on to this better. And the thing I liked about this is that it came with like a plug-in charger so you don't have to buy batteries for it. So that was pretty cool. So it's not supposed to touch the bottom. Take it out and see if it'll dry. Mm, I think we're definitely going to have to go another time with that one. And the water doesn't look that thick either, so don't know. We'll do that loosening up brush, bleh, bristles, and then we'll do it again. So what do you guys think? You think this is something that you can get into or what? This is one of those things that I saw online that I was like, I would really want one of those, but I don't think I could pay for it myself. <laughs> this thing like wobbles a lot. Okay. So that is it after twice. <sighs> now it's stuck. Oh, I just broke my brush. No. Dang it, now I really need to buy her foundation brush. I've been complaining about it for the longest time, and now I think I really need to. That's a shame. Let's see, what else can I try? We'll try a shadow brush. I use a lot of these. That's not going to fit. There is like a wide variety of, um, I feel like there's a lot of work. Yeah, exactly. Like, this is a lot of work, but, you know, honestly, like, I feel like I'm kind of, like, lazy when it comes to something like that, so I feel like if it actually, like, if it's kind of fun, then, yeah, I'll definitely try it out. So let me, there definitely is, though, like, I think the thing that's a little bit harder is that you do have to change the water, like, between a lot of the uses. So, I mean, it might just be easier to just clean them all by hand, to be honest, but I think this is a lot of fun. I think I could probably get away with it more. I think that my uh, blush was definitely, like, holding on for dear life. So, yeah. What's everyone doing for Wind Down Wednesdays? So, that's this one. It's not too bad, but... Kind of press it down. I'm afraid that my hands are going to get slippery. 
And that this bowl is just going to come crashing out of my hand. And take it out. You know, Whitney, to be honest, like it might not be that much work. I'd probably just make it look that way because <laughs> I don't know how to, what I'm doing. <laughs> Maybe it's one of those things that like the more you use it, the better it'll get. But yeah, and it honestly, like it comes out practically like dry, like it's spinning in the air for sure. And I'm going to say this because this brush is probably now going to have to rest in peace. Look at that. Game off. It's just an excuse for me to buy the foundation brush I've been having my eye on for the longest time now, and that's okay. Let's try... I'll try this one, because it's puffier. 98 cents. Oh, the brushes? I want our brush. Because <laughs> it has, like, that, like... I don't know, would you say divot? I don't know. Okay. These brushes were a gift from Miss Kelly Lynn uh, for Christmas before I moved out here. So I kind of have a fondness for these ones. And I've had them forever. Oh, the fishbowl. Okay, sweet. Okay, so. Another thing, too, I do want to say that I feel like it in the commercial things that they have like online that. It definitely looks like the the spinning power is a lot stronger than it actually is because it's not very stable and you can see like it just like kind of wiggles in my hand a little bit maybe I'm just not holding it tight enough I don't know but there it goes drying out and then it comes out all pretty and whatnot that is I don't know I like this I'll definitely be using this more I just have to make sure that this suction thing doesn't rip the head off my brush again. So sad. <laughs> so sad. Let's try this one. This is my, oh my gosh. So anyone who has bought e.l.f. brushes knows that they are like the MVP of like bang for your buck makeup brushes. Like I love ours, but I don't know. I've had this e.l.f. brush for so long. Like, I never want it to go away, ever. <laughs> so this is a weird in-between brush. It doesn't want to stick on. So that's it, and it has, like, a little bit of sparkle on it, not too much. Maybe if I just get, like, a, a twirling technique, maybe that's better? I don't know. But look at how sexy that is. That's really cool. Just think of how much product was on my brushes. I am almost embarrassed that I'm doing this online. <laughs> That's okay. It's totally okay. And this one. Okay, so this one didn't exactly dry as well as the other ones did. I think because it couldn't really like feather out to dry. So that's fine. But it definitely did clean it. So, yeah. So definitely my review on this, I think it's really good. I like it. Um, I'm definitely like grateful that my uh, my sister-in-law bought it for me. So um, yeah, I hope you guys kind of enjoyed this and maybe I helped you decide whether you wanted to buy it or not. I know I always see this stuff online and I always wish that like, <laughs> I love watching reviews of products and see like people actually like using them live and kind of giving their opinion on it but I'm going to finish cleaning all these I'm sure you guys don't want to sit and watch it all but I hope you guys have a good night and I'll talk to you later bye thanks for watching